Which whenever you want to start, uh, just an opening statement from the 11 straight wins now for them. Yeah, really proud of the team. A lot of fight. Uh, had to overcome a lot of adversity today, a lot of foul trouble, um, and played through a lot of physical play. And really proud of the effort and intensity our team played with. Coach, how f much of a physical situation was this just in conference play? Because out of conference, that's, that's something to be expected. Let's talk about the physical, the, how physical it got uh, as far as from the bench, you know, trying to keep their head in the game and, and fight through. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough battle today. I thought Nikki did a great job preparing her team, um, and uh, we had a great battle. And so, um, really proud of the team's effort. Was this the most physical game you played this year? I uh, think. Yeah. So, so which one? Where would you where would you stack this in terms of physical games you played? Um, probably top five. What was the message at the end of the first quarter? Two points. I hadn't scored yet, but you're only really down three. Yeah, I mean, I, we have so much trust for one another. I mean, I think the um, players do a tremendous job of keeping each other up. We love to score. Um, we love to play at home. Um, and so, I mean, the game was just getting started. So I don't think there was anything. We were defending our tails off. And I thought we did an incredible job defensively today. And I'm um, proud of the effort they gave on both ends. What was the most frustrating moment for you as a coach? You get the win, but I know there are times emotions are probably riding high, riding low, you try to stay in the middle. Was there a, a moment that you thought, you know, this is, this is unlike this, or no. it might have been a little frustrating? No, not at all. Excited by the way we played. Really fired up for the execution that we had late game, and proud of our team. Sid, you had some early first half foul trouble, but uh, you stayed with it and hit some really big shots in the fourth quarter. Just talk about keeping your composure and uh, coming through for the team there. And, uh, a really good team win. Yeah, Coach does a really good job with um, calming me down. So does my team. I mean, we were all there for one another, so it was pretty easy. It wasn't like I was talking to myself all the time. I had like 15 people talking to me, trying to stay in the game. So. When you have a group of people like that who really care about you, it's really easy to stay in it. And we just needed a spark, so I hit a big shot. <laughs> Nicole, were you pleased how well you guys handled the press there late? They didn't bring it out until about four minutes left. You got a little sneak preview of it by Charlotte. <laughs> Was it nice to see your teammates respond after a bit of a rehearsal on Thursday? Yeah, I mean, I thought we handled the press well. Um, we didn't really have any issues with it. We've been pressed a lot this year, um, especially in the preseason. So we've had a lot of practice against pressing teams, and I thought we um, handled it really well. It's almost as if it really does depend on the type of game you play and what type of defense an opponent brings. You guys expect to be able to counter that and hit them with the body blows when they try to punch you in the mouth. Kind of talk about that. I mean, we just prepare for the teams that we have. It's, it's nothing um, new. We try and prepare the same way for every single team. So whatever people throw at us, we're, we're prepared. We just have to do what we have to do. Cool. What do you think about your team this week at home? You, you get all the accolades after the big road trip. You come home challenged twice. What do you think your team can learn from this home stand against Charlotte and ODU? Um, I mean, now that we're the top team in conference, we have a target on our back. Um, everyone's, we saw Charlotte and ODU give us two really good games, so we know that teams are going to give us their best shot, um, but that's that's something that comes with being the number one team in conference. And I thought uh, we're going to learn a lot from these two games and get ready for our next game at Western. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, guys.